for something I was doing earlier. You no, know, let's just turn the splits off. Myself down here. Love like corner. Make this. Do that. That looks all right. So this is faith. I really don't know much about it, other than it's a retro style horror game. And hold on, let me turn the. There we go. Down a little. There we go, so I'm not yelling over the sound of my headphones. Um, this is Faith. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. It's a retro-style horror game. We're going to see how it goes. Alright. Nothing. Can I go this way? Obviously, it wants me to go up. But I can go this way. I don't know what good it does me. Okay, I get, it looks like I'm a priest, judging by the white collar. And my cross. And the name of the game. Infinitely loop. Yeah, it does. Alright. I go down. Can't go down. Alright. Music's nice. Go this way? No, infinitely loops. Okay. So it looks like we're going up. Can I bless my car? Can I make it a holy rider? No? Alright. Well, it looks like we're going up. Rock? No. Can't bless the rocks. Can't bless the trees. Jesus, what the fuck is that thing? That was horrifying. I jumped, not gonna lie. The fuck away from me. I did the tutorial and it told me to turn demons away with the cross. Oh, we have a well. Alright. What's this? God, that's an awful noise. You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Saturday, May 3rd. Alright, noon to four, turn right at one th one three eight Sneak Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Okay, so let's go straight past the well. No demon in the screen? Alright. Ah, hi dear. Oh, bye dear. That is such an awful noise. Okay. Found the house. No. Oh. Okay. The house is locked. Let's go see if we can go any other directions. I suppose. Like, I'll be honest, I played this a little bit before I... got here. Maybe before I started streaming. See if it was working properly. And this is where I got to. Summoning this guy. Picking up this note, but I didn't read it, so... Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected registering the markers at your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there, and the inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. We've sent the gravestone rubbings to some of the peers at the University of Connecticut. 
I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best. Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut, Historical... S Why does all the fucking strange shit happen in Connecticut? Bless this one? No? How about this one? No? Can I go down? Can go down. Can I go this way? I don't want to get lost in the woods. That would suck. If I'm right, the house should be right here. But what's that? Is that a dead tree? The fuck out of here. we got here. Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree looking like it's dying. All the needles are falling off of it and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She's totally absorbed in her volunteer, uh, volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about, but I've gotten ugly looks from uh, I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at the book club. Kathy and her religious friends don't even talk to me anymore. Okay. Odd. So if I go down, does that bring me to the house? Oh, back to the road. Get the, f Get the fuck out of here. Hey, dear. May I bless you? No. Okay, let's keep going this way. Like, I'll be honest, I'm wandering aimlessly, like, right now. Road. I feel like I just got warped back a panel. Well, that wasn't very nice. Did you do something with the deer now that it died? No? Oh, water. Can I bless the water and make holy water? Aha! Fuck you, sir! I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they were lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go out and dig up Bob's rifle out of storage. Okay, so there's a rifle in storage somewhere. I have a theory. Oh god. Got me. RIP! Okay. Resume, quit, and exit. Okay. No, I did not mean to do that. There's no run button or anything. Just walk and spacebar. That's it. Do I have to do all this again? Yeah, let's start over. God damn it. Okay, if I go left from the well. If I go north one, it should be the cemetery. No. This map doesn't seem to work the way I think it works. Oh, there's the cemetery. Alright, so there's that. Grab that, we read that earlier. Head this way. Go a different direction than we went before. Get the fuck out of here. I'm 
just gonna keep walking in this direction to see what I find. Go down the screen? Oh, to the road. Okay. Can I go this way? Okay, that works for me. It's very confusing. There's obviously a key I'm supposed to be finding. Because the house is locked. That says that talks about the pine tree dying. Yeah, that's fine. I didn't find this before. Okay. That was strange. I'm just gonna keep going up. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, I'm back at the cemetery. What? Get the fuck out of here. And now we're back at the house. Nothing really stands out to me. It's locked. Door's still locked. How do I get in? There's obviously something I need. I don't have it. What happens if I just keep walking in this direction? I'm back at the cemetery. Oh, you almost got me, you son of a bitch. Which means if I go up from here... Get the fuck out of here. If I go up from here, is this the house? Why do the trees keep changing? Okay, well he came from this direction, so I'm gonna go that direction. This. Kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to the real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problem occupying their time. Excuse me. Yesterday, they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem, uh, because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this is just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. Alright. Go back up and go. Nope! Fuck you, sir! Oh! I found a shed! What's this? The Martin's house lies about 100 yards off Snake, uh, Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. The trees just out of the middle of the gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. 
It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Alred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until he arrived at the house. Uh, in the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Alred explained that, there, <clears throat> that he would perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted Amy remain inside. Uh, he complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the layperson. Alright, can I go in here? Oh, there's a key. I saw you. Yep, I knew it, you son of a bitch. Okay, so I have a key. So, we can go back to the house now, right? And it looked like it auto-saved there, too, when I picked up the key. Which is nice. You are very slow moving in this. I think the house is one page up from here. I think. What the hell was that? Alright, so we're in the house. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. What the fuck? Okay, I feel for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look that... I'm always suspicious when it stops. It's the child purple. That's not creepy. And necklaces on top of the cabinet. Whoa. Is it bug out or is it actually not supposed to be on right now? Oh, I can hide behind the TV. That's interesting. I wonder if that's going to come into play later. I don't trust you. I don't trust the bed either, personally. Monsters in bed. We all know that. Nothing in here. Okay, it looks like we're going back to the main room. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. I don't know if it's supposed to be this silent or if the music bugged out. Just exercise bike? No. This. Whatever it is, I can open it. Take that possessed duck. 
I don't feel ha safe in my home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out and play because I'm afraid of what's going on. Ah, what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, sorted, planted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival phone house. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I just don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stopped, wor uh, phone stopped working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Dinner possessed. Everything I need is going to be colored in. Oh, there's a note over here. Grab that note first. I guess I was the only one who thought uh, to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was cold. I found Amy standing in the back, straight at me when, uh, when I first met. Looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. I spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her. I experienced a bit of deception from the During our conversation, she uttered my mo mother's first name in perfect. Oh, and in other instances, she spoke perfect Latin. I called for help for the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began the uh, right again. Okay. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because I sent over because uh, he sent over this doll for Amy's birthday. I'll uh, I'll ask Amish about it next time we have a book club. Looks like she could be from over there. That's racist. I'm kidding. Uh, looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Maybe uh, seeing a baby doll makes her feel self conscious about working at the clinic. Oh God! Yeah, these. Things. Oh. What? No. What? No. No. Death sketch possessed. Simon. No. All right, none of them are possessed. Move on here, our job's done. Everything up here. I want to know why Amy's purple. And why I have no need. Can't end poorly. over there. Oh, water? No. No holy water for me today. Dryer. Washer. Put the sheet. The crib is possessed. <sighs> Dear Amy, thanks for writing. Uh, Dear Amy, thanks for writing. Really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of people who practice Quimbamba. Quimbamba. It's what you might call a pagan, pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. Um, one of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday, we walked. Uh, we walked. We talked to a boy about fifteen. When we asked if he had ever prayed, he said no, but he uh, have prayed to uh, San La Muerte. He told, uh, told us about a time when he was over at his cousin's house. According to him, they San La Muerte. Figures made things in the house move around. It got real quiet. And that. He told him he could pray to God, and God would make him feel scared like that. He visited. Uh, we uh, we invited him. 
church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap up this letter. Uh, get back to work. See you in four months. See you in four months, Layton. Well, that's not fucking terrifying. Sewing machine itself. No. no. Okay. Moving on. Terrifying mannequins. Well, shit. A letter here, though. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the rape for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical, and the thing. That uh, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of her. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but I managed to get them back stairs, back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, "Mother, mother!" the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down at the kitchen table with me. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear that much of anything down in the basement, so we had to go check, and I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Back beast. Okay. Oh dear God. That thing's awful. She is here. Oh dear. Mortis. Okay then. We could just save. I do have to see this again though. She is here. Run away. Go downstairs. Do I go back down into the basement? Ah, uh, you bitch. Mortis. I'm trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. But I feel like I'm gonna die a lot. Oh my god, how do I defend against her? Oh, she sucks so much. She is here. She's awful. Do I need to employ speed strats to get away from this chick? Oh, you bitch. Mortis. Can I just cycle through them? Try to figure out which one's real, maybe, when she does that? She is here. The digital noise in this game is fucking so good. It's so unsettling, it's great. Comes. I think I'm going to need the fender off in this. 
Ow. Behind me. <sighs> I should get used to just watching this cutscene, because I'm going to be seeing it a lot. She makes awful noises. Alright, that's right. Go up. Wait. I got her. Good. That's new. Hello, sheets. Okay, well, going into the basement doesn't seem to have solved anything. So let's not go into the basement. Eating whore. Get wrecked. I had my thing up, you piece of shit. Well, at least I know how to defend against her now. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go, though. I haven't tried going out the front door yet. Get out. Nope. You're too weak. Get wrecked, bitch. Whew. Alright, I can just walk out the front door. That is an option. Why is it always the last one, I guess? Always. Always the last one, what the fuck? Or open. That one's the attic. He 
The church may contact you in the next few days to tell you their vision of what happened. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't She, my superior, father, with. When I confronted her, she managed to cut the power of the house and her own parents with her own. I have to go back to the house. The nightmare I'm having, oh, the nightmares I'm having are real. Still there, waiting for me. I can't. I can still help her if I don't come back. You know that I'm sorry and I love you. Demon. Back, demon. My God, what happened to you? Do you see my face, you pretty? I have to finish what I started. You died, priest. Oh. Alright. Try again. My god, what happened to you? Do you see my face, you pretty? That distorted audio is creepy as shit. Started. You died, priest. Balls. Oh dear. Okay. Do I start from? Yeah, I start from the second phase. Good. Damn it. I'll get this. This is tricky. Okay, she always comes from behind me when she disappears. Good to know. Oh wow, I have to be fucking quick. Can I just move out of the way? Like, can I move down or something? Damn it. I gotta remember, I gotta move out of the way. Okay, I got this.
many cycles do I have to go through? Jesus. There we go. Okay, so she moves along the lines Lord. now. Okay, looks like I have to get her there. And I gotta move out of the way. Okay, this is gonna be a trial and error fight. I can feel it already. Okay. Do I have to block the runes, maybe? Or does she always fly out in that direction? Okay, if I walk into the ring, she immediately attacks me. Maybe I can put some more distance between us? She's following the star. So it's just a matter of knowing where she's going next. Alright, another phase down. Saved. Window broke. What? No? You done here? Kill her. Grab the rifle. A dog with one bullet. Jimmy, I'm going out back because she's. I guess I'm going out the front door. I don't want to put your space bar because I'm pretty sure it'll shoot. Where'd she go? Go back. I reload. A dog with one bullet. Yes, I can get another gun. Good. Go find this bitch and put it down.
for you. <laughs> Fuck you. Looking for a tree. I gotta remember where her tree was. I know this map doesn't work in normal ways. Not what I was supposed to do. I mentioned about the dead deer in one of the story, uh, one of the notes, so I thought maybe I could shoot the deer. back and get another gun. Start searching around again. <clears throat> shooting the deer wasn't the answer. I don't think shooting that guy was the answer. Could have. But I don't think that was the answer. Not getting any more? Okay, well, I guess we don't again. Let's reload. Oh, we have to do the whole thing over again? If I quit like that? Eh, at least we know what we have to do. God damn it. Well, we have to find the hut. I know the hut's to the right of the house. Worship me? I think this yell worship me as it was charging me? What the fuck? That's weird. There's the hut. Yep, I know. Go away, we already did all that. The key. Yeah, it's definitely saying worship me as it charges me. That's kind of creepy as shit. I'm gonna shoot that guy. See what happens. That time it charged me yelling, run, run, run. Those things are fucking weird, man. Not 
such a strange fucking game. One that sucks is I'm gonna have to do that boss fight over. Yes. This happens. Then we have to fight her a few times, and the attic opens up. She is the Earth. Okay, move down into this room. Here. the attic. Do the boss fight again, which actually isn't that hard now that I know how it works. To you. Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. Boss fight time. Alright, phase one done. Phase two is when I'm gonna have to move perpendicular to whatever direction she comes at me.
Take all the damage, you bitch. There you go. Phase two down. Phase three. God damn it, I stepped on the runes. <laughs> All it takes is step on the runes and you're fucking dead. Close enough. Damage, bitch. Kiss me, bitch. There we go, phase two down. Phase three down. All right, so that's it for that. Now I have to go out and find her. Got the gun with one shot. We're right back where we were. Bet you she's at that pine tree. I gotta remember how to find it. A dog with one bullet. A dog with one bullet. Alright, gotta go find out where that tree Okay then. Down here. I have a feeling I wasn't supposed to do that. I'll go to my car and just
is that they all can just go to my car and leave. Yeah, I guess that was the option. But I figured the cops would get involved. Ending one of five. Murderer. Police arrest man accused of murdering this girl. A New York man is in custody after he confessed to the murder of a Sterling girl who had been missing. Oh, Ster- Of course it's Sterling. I have an ex from Sterling. Um, John Ward of Palmi Palmyra, also, okay, was pulled over on Snake Hill, uh, Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward repeatedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying that there was a demon inside. Ward had taken Ward was taken to Sterling Police Reporters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a seventeen year old girl that had been missing nine days after mental assault. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the abandoned Martin home. In addition to a gunshot wound in the stomach, Amy injury suggesting that she was thrown out of a second-story window of the house. The officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Uh, Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over, but the uh, suspect that he impersonated... Wait, is... It is suspect that he impersonated a priest who gained the victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Rhode Ward is not in order. The rest of the other. Okay. What other options? Got the gun. I know there's the guy over by um, the hut. Shoot him. Or just... Yeah, let's go try shooting him. Ah, get fucked. Now I'm gonna leave. You're dead. I don't know who you were, but you're dead. Sneaky gray bastard. I don't know that I shot someone, I can leave. There's five endings, so I'm trying to find them all. I will send a flower. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be a fr- oh, 
father and son. Okay. Seemed Cardinal Gifford. It is with all due respect that you do not grasp the importance of the work I am doing with Michael. Michael needs my help more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress in Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside him fights back with generosity. Well, uh, we must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a time. There is another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family and all let them see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but is also a terrible strain on his body. So that there may not be any mistake of what I mean, I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during uh, sessions. Photograph. All right. Don't grab the gun. Or grab the gun. Grab the gun and shoot the deer and leave and be convicted for poaching. Just grab the gun and leave. Is that an option? Let's see if I can shoot the. See if I get bagged for poaching. Probably will. The other two probably are um, approach the girl without a weapon and approach the guy without a weapon. I will say of my war, he is my refuge and my fortress. Now, this is the same ending I just got. Nope, I hit a deer. No, I hit a tree. Ending four of three, the hunter. The of a deadly car accident was discovered along the road near Sterling this morning, along with the body of a person who had not yet been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an accident along Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. A spokesperson for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car into the woods after having been ejected from the front windshield. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect this was probably the work of coyotes. Police also noted that parts of the cleaned white tail of the cleaned white tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car. From a white tailed deer from a white tailed deer, a hunter typically gets seventy five pounds of meat. However, it appears the victim of the accident was able to bring back twenty five pounds to Well, maybe okay let's not grab the gun and go see the guy in the woods by the shed without the gun or let's go see her without the gun closer also I've never done that at
Okay, that does nothing. If I touch her, I get repelled. Okay, so my only option to interact with her is to shoot her. I don't want to do that. Let's go see the guy over by the shed without a gun. Still don't know what that's all. Away. I just leave. Before I do that. That weird summoning. They just leave without doing any of that. I cannot. That is not an option. Okay, so what if I go to the hut, scare the guy away, and I bet you he's with her after I scare him away. And he's trying to hurt her. And I have to shoot him. That's my theory. Let's see if it works. Missing, missing endings 3 and 5. I've gotten 1, 2, and 4. <laughs> Which are pretty simple. Let's shoot that and then shoot this. Let's chase after him. See where this leads us. shoot her, but it's not what I want to do. Nope. If 
back to the house, maybe? Maybe that's why that guy was at the shed. He was looking for the house. There's not a lot of rooms in the house. Nope. Okay. Um. There's the other thing is I'm going to take the gun to the car and shoot that creature that charged me earlier. At the car. But that means there's still one more ending. Doesn't seem like it's in the forest. I was seeing if it would let me shoot myself by shooting the mirror, you know, self kind of thing. But that's not the case. Not the case. Or upstairs. attic. The theory that I keep that man. And not shoot that man. So let's grab the gun, go to my car, and shoot the beast that charge, charges me. That should be ending three. I don't expect that to be ending five. Ending five might not be available until you have the other four endings. A dog with one bullet. So now it's just time to walk straight down. The one thing I didn't find, though, this is something worth noting. All these paths, none of them lead to the tree. I need to find the dying tree. I think that's probably ending five. Find the dying tree. I don't remember where the dying tree is. I'm not mistaken, it's go down to the road, go right one panel, and then up. Dick. I will say of the lore, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. 
but the true ending? Yeah, that was the good ending. Fuck yeah! And Faith Endures. I still didn't get ending 3. I might have to look up ending 3. Police, animal experts investigate chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of a local animal expert from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were find, found near Sterling. The remains of the animal, which some residents are calling chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were already scattered across the road. Police say that initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains told told them they appeared okay initially discovered the remains told them it appeared to be of a person after arriving at the scenes police concluded that they were the remains of some kind of animal as a matter of public safety we want to be sure exactly what we're dealing with here said the sterling police spokesman this is clearly not a deer or a coyote if it's if it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owner then, uh, or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attach, yeah, animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal they had found. Although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets of vitamin D deficiency that appeared in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Okay. There's one more ending, and that's ending three. And I have no idea how to get it, so I'm actually going to cheat on this one. No, I don't want to know the ending's The Sound of Drop. I don't actually want to see I want to see how it was. one murder. Yeah, I know that. Okay, let's watch this guy real quick. I don't know what's going to trigger ending three. It has to do with that fucking demon circle on the door. Okay. I, I would have never guessed to do that. Never. In a million years would have guessed to do that. A dog with one bullet. Even though it's obvious, in hindsight, I would not have guessed to do that. <laughs> and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Never in a million years guessed to do that.
and shoot the fucking thing in the middle of the circle again. It's already dead, but shoot it again. That's how you get ending three. What the fuck did I do? Oh, I completed the sacrifice. Gotcha. Hello, Amy. I'm sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It is ha hard for people trust what they understand. I know that you are only 17, but you're barely an adult. Capable. Yeah, you are able to handle your own life. Do not stop you. Do not let your mom and dad stop you from following. If there is anything I can do to help, just let me know. We are having a get-together at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by. I would consider being part of the even if your mom and dad do not. There. Scary. It's all endings. That's it. We're done here. And we have done everything Faith has for us. And it took us, what? An hour and a half? 100% the fucking game. That was with me having to start over once because I'm an idiot. So there we go. Where's my phone? Where did I leave my phone? So. I'm going to exit out of faith. And I'm going to be right back.